Hi, uh, I'm Ken. And I think we all would like to see climate change solved. One way to begin doing that is to look at the system that is causing climate change. And that's what we're going to do today. I am joined by Yaclin, Wendy, Izzy, Hustlin, Will, Demontre, Ash, Naeli, and Alam. Uh, so I'm gonna zoom in on this system and uh, I'm gonna ask Will if he would just start up at the top where it says some stuff doesn't cost very much and read around that uh, like a clock uh, as the rest of us think about uh, lines of connection that can be made uh, between uh, all of those things. So to start, some stuff doesn't cost very much. Natural resources, we don't know the people who make our stuff, landfills and garbage, we buy stuff we do not need, transportation, our stuff does not last, online, st online shopping, advertising and consumer culture, shopping centers, we have more stuff than we did 100 years ago, and fossil fuels. Thanks, Will. When Will said fossil fuels, what are some examples of that? Oil. Oil, all right. Coal. Is it gas or? Yeah, yeah, natural gas. Now would be a great time to uh, take a moment to do an activity at home. Uh, you can either print out the concept map that you see, or you could take a piece of paper and a pencil and write the different uh, words down that you see. And uh, then after you have them written, you could uh, draw lines of connection. For example, one line of connection is that fossil fuels are natural resources. So you could draw a line from fossil fuels over to natural resources. See if you can get every one of the concepts connected to the rest of them in some way. You can hit pause and do this activity. And in a few moments, we'll be back uh, to have my friends tell us their connections. Could anybody uh, tell me a line of connection that you see uh, in this system? Fossil fuels and transportation. And could you tell me why you connected those two? Um, I just think about the gas needed to power these cars or trucks or buses and the like CO2 that is put out. Yeah, thank you, Nayeli. I can go off that and connect the transportation to online shopping. Because uh, without transportation, uh, there would be no Amazon. So it's not magic when you click on uh, Amazon and it shows up at your house? No. <laughs> <laughs> Other connections. I'm going to connect. We have more stuff than we did 100 years ago, and we buy stuff we do not need. All right. And I just made that connection over. because if we have more, it's because we're buying um, one I had noticed that it goes in is the advertising consumer culture with we buy stuff we don't need just because like oftentimes like you'll see a commercial and like you know you don't need it but it looks cool or you think it would be fun to have so you yeah. end up buying something that like takes a lot of resources to produce. Yeah, thank you. Natural resources could be connected to landfills and garbage because uh, to have landfills and to like our garbage away in landfills we need space and that takes up um, part of the land that could be used for a forest or it could be used for like a school homes anything like that thank you Jacqueline. and how does it get to the landfill uh, since you're a metro employee <laughs> it gets there by trucks so All using right. transportation okay thank you and uh how many trucks is that a day that is 60 trucks that carry each 16,000 pounds. Thank you. Um, I will connect uh, online shopping and some stuff doesn't cost very much because yeah. online shopping has just like lowered the price and it's very, it can compete with shopping centers like way more with like price matching and 
without needing to pay workers, it's a lot easier to cut on prices. Awesome. Thank you. Well, um, another connection I noticed is some stuff doesn't cost very much and our stuff does not last because something can be cheaply made or it can be um, lower money. And so because you're paying for like lower quality doesn't last, which leads to like more buying. Awesome. And it is uh, often uh, cheaper to buy something new than it is to repair. Um, going based off that, our stuff does not last could be connected to advertising and consumer culture because that's kind of like the thing to say is like, wow, look at this. It's super cheap. Majority of things that are that are super cheap never last long. All right. Thank you. Um, I'll make the connection uh, that we don't know the people who make our stuff in shopping centers. I make that connection just simply off of um, idea that once it's at a shopping center, we assume that it's of, that's in our best interest. It's you know to be used of our best interest. But uh, given that their idea, their whole job um, is just to get it off the shelf, no matter what effects uh, may come from. It. I will connect advertising and consumer culture to we don't know the people who make our stuff. Just because it's kind of like, like Demontre said, when we see it at a store, we don't really question where it came from or its right. background. And that's right. just kind of the cult, the consumer culture right now. Um, it can also be connected to like transportation or fossil fuels because a lot of this, a lot of our stuff comes from like different continents. So it has to go through a lot of transportation. Yeah, thank you. That was uh, insightful, right. How about uh, we don't know the people that make our stuff and uh, online shopping? Online shopping. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. You all have done a really good job of uh, seeing connections, and we could uh, draw a whole lot more. Uh, the truth is uh, they're all connected. Uh, I'd like to ask of all the things that are on this chart, which one is the most important and is our source of everything? Natural resources. Yeah, so I'm gonna go over here and put a star on that. There we go. And uh, it is our source of clothing, our source of food, our source of oxygen, a source of water, uh, uh, basically everything that we need. Uh, we are told by scientists that we need one of these uh, to basically go away. Uh, in the next 30 years, but we need a 45% reduction in the next 10 years. Uh, which one would that be? Is it the use of fossil fuels? It is the use of fossil fuels. So if you'll allow me to just mark that out. And um, what can we replace the oil, coal, natural gas with? Solar power. Solar. Wind power. Hydro. Hydropower, yes. Uh, yeah, what we learn from this uh, chart is that the more stuff we buy, the more fossil fuels uh, are used and the more CO2 is emitted. So this system needs to change. It needs to be slowed down. Its source of power needs to be renewable. In the next lesson, uh, we will be looking at uh, making this real by following something everybody uses in the system, and that is a t-shirt.